Today, we are going to be accepting 100 trades in Adopt Me, starting from a ride potion. Make sure to watch the entire video to see what we end up with. And if you would like a chance to win what we end up with, all you got to do is leave a like on this video, hit the subscribe button, and comment down your Roblox username. Okay, you guys, so you heard the intro. We're going to be doing 100 trades today. And yes, this video was inspired by Fishies trading from an egg to blank in 100 trades. He said it was okay for me to do it too. We're going to start from a ride potion, but we're not going to tell anybody that we're doing a challenge. I just think it makes it more challenging when people don't know you're doing a challenge. That's just how I feel about it. So we have our ride potion. We're gonna see what we end up with. And do I even need to say it? We are in a cake army trading server. And if you guys would like to use our adopt me trading servers, just join the Britney Cakes cake army group on Roblox. Now the way that this challenge works, which makes it so difficult, I would say is the fact that you have to accept every single trade, no matter what. We could end up with nothing, but that is a risk I'm willing to take. Okay, we got our our first trade request. I'm actually very nervous because I know a ride potion is at least worth a legendary or two. Okay, a neon ride luminous bat. Now, I don't know if they're gonna hit accept. They decline the trade. Okay, that's fine. Okay, we got the next trade request. So, basically, if that person hits accept, I have to hit accept. I have no choice. Okay, so they said choose one and they're adding a bunch of pets. Ooh, I definitely think I'm gonna go for the black chow chow. The fleur de ice is also pretty good, but the black chow chow is something that costs robux oh they have a robo dog oh wow they have a lot of good options this being our first trade is actually stressing me out because i don't want to make the wrong choice you guys need to comment down below like which out of these seven items would you take i think i'm gonna go for the black chow chow i feel like the black chow chow the fleur de ice the robo dog or the scarecrow crow are our best options but oof, what do i do i'm gonna go for the black chow chow but something's telling me i should have gone for the scarecrow crow oh don't roast me in the comments you guys i hope that this is a good choice. Okay, they hit accept, so we gotta do it. This is our very first trade, and from here, I have no idea where we're gonna end up. Okay, they hit accept, and we got our first trade for a black chow chow. It is straight up a newborn black chow chow. This is actually my favorite chow chow out of all the options. I haven't even put my message in chat yet, but we are trading a black chow chow, and oh no. I do not want a sunrise duckling, but if this person hits accept, I'm gonna have no choice. This is our second trade. Oh no. This is terrible. This is awful. I know nobody likes these sunrise ducklings. Oh, they hit accept. Oh, this is already going so bad. Oh, no. Oh, my gosh. Help. We have this sunrise duckling. We're getting trades, but I haven't even put in chat what I'm trading yet. This will be our third trade, but I just don't know if anyone's gonna offer for it. I don't know if they're offering for the sunrise duckling or what, but they're putting a lot of stuff. I feel like maybe this is their offer for something different. I'm not really sure. Oh, they hit accept for all of this stuff, so I kind of do wish we were only just getting one or two items because this is going to be a lot to keep track of all of these things. I don't know exactly how I'm going to do this. Am I going to trade these items individually? Am I going to trade them in bulk? Oh, they hit confirm. Okay, I mean this was a really good upgrade from the Sunrise Duckling. I just feel like there's no possible way I can memorize everything I just got. Some things were a vehicle, some things were pets. I think this is trade number four. I'm not entirely sure. This person wants to offer for the Spaniel, so I guess that they were spec trading the trade that we just did and they want to offer for this? I mean, that helps me. Oh no, they're just gonna offer a bunch of hairs from the hair boxes. At least it's not for all of the items we just got. They just want this brown springer spaniel. I mean, listen, they're gonna get themselves a really nice deal if they hit accept, and they did. Yeah, so this is gonna be kind of difficult to keep track of. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start favoriting the items that we got in the trade so I don't lose track of them. And there we go. We just did our fourth, fifth trade. I gotta check. Okay, so that was our fourth trade. We started with the ride potion one. I favorited all all of the items that I think that we've ended up with. Okay, so what I've had to do is compose this extremely long message saying everything that we're trading because I just don't know how to do it otherwise. This for anything. So it's a lunar gold tiger, which as we know, don't have that much value. What would I like to give for the lunar gold tiger? I would give them the gingerbread hair. I feel like that's better than this. Okay, we're in the next trade window. I feel like this is going pretty well so far. And there we go. We just got our next trade. Something we're also going to do is go ahead and turn on the joins for the followers. If you click the link in the description under this video, go to my Roblox profile, and when you click these three dots, there will be something here that says follow. Then you'll be able to join me in games. Okay, we got a trade request. I don't know if they want to trade for the ladybug because that's the pet that I'm holding. Okay, this person just traded me, and they said they have an offer for the gingerbread reindeer, which makes me really sad because this is my favorite item that we got today. Oh no, not the eggnog hair again, and the ox. Oh, they're just giving me the worst stuff, absolutely. What is this? Pistachio? 
Pistachio. I thought his name was Pinocchio. And a beluga whale. They hit accept, so we gotta do it. My poor gingerbread reindeer. I'm so upset about this. I really do love these pets. But this is the rules of the challenge. I believe this is our sixth trade. I keep losing track. They hit confirm, so we gotta do it. There we go. Sixth trade by gingerbread reindeer. Okay, so I've also been putting everything that I'm trading in the fishy army trading server. I wrote everything out, and we did get an offer for our two ladybugs. It's a good thing I've been favoriting everything, or else I would probably forget. So here we go. We have two ladybugs, and they offered a dragonfly. Pleasure doing business, Brit. Pleasure doing business with you. As long as we're getting offers, I don't really care what they are. Well, I should probably watch what I say, because we could get something really terrible, but there we go. We did our seventh trade. So we did our seventh trade. I'm actually having a lot of fun. This is everything that we have so far. It's really helping to favorite the things that I've gotten in the trade so I don't forget. So I just keep updating my trading message. I'm also putting this in the fishy army trading server just in case. And just like that, we did get an offer for our donkey. So this will be our eighth trade. If it goes through, we will be getting a scarecrow horse. Okay, so they sent us a trade request because their trades were off, but they offered us a scarecrow horse for our donkey. Goodbye, cute little donkey. This will be trade number eight. And just like that, trade number eight secured. Just go ahead and make sure we favorite the scarecrow horse. So we add it to our nice little collection. And the person that we just traded for the dragonfly actually wants to offer for the squirrel car as well. Okay, so this was the only vehicle that we had. And now we're not gonna have it. And they offered us the Halloween mummy cat box. I love boxes. I like to collect stuff. So now this will be the only gift item that we have. And just like this, trade nine secured. And just like that, we also got an offer for our orca. We're about to get a Yule log dog. So this will actually be our 10th trade, which means we're 10% of the way through this challenge. Oh, I love the Yule log dog. It's so cute. It's so funky looking. So there we go. 10th trade secured. Okay, now this is crazy. This person wants to offer for everything. Okay, so here they are. They look rich. They have a mega floor to ice. They sent us a trade request, so we got to put in everything that we got. I'm actually kind of sad to see some of this stuff go. I hope they give us a decent offer. I'm going to tell them that's everything that we got and see what they... Oh, no. Not the urban eggs. The scarecrow cat. They said for the first three. So they just kind of want to offer for the legendaries, it looks like. Again, I'm not telling anyone that I'm accepting any and every offer. So if they just ask me, I just got to do it. Okay, I guess bye to our legendary items. They hit accept. So let's go ahead and do it. This will be our 11th trade, which 11 is my lucky number. Ooh, did you see just as I said that? It literally was on the number 11 in the trade. That's freaky. Okay, they hit accept. And there we go. 11th trade. The fishy army discord server remains unmatched. This person's gonna offer for both of our eggnog hairs and give us a snow owl. Okay, so we just joined this next person and I believe they wanted to offer for the eggnog hairs. Um, is this gonna be our 12th trade? I think so. So let's go ahead and hit confirm. And there we go. We just got a legendary for our two eggnog hairs. Okay, so we just kind of stayed in the server that we just traded that other person in. It's just a random server. This girl asked if she could see everything that we're trading. I don't know if she's actually gonna offer for anything. Okay, so this person traded us and they said they would offer for the snow owl. Oh no, not the metal ox, but okay, some gingerbread mouse. What is with the oxen, you guys? They said this and as you guys know, I just have to accept it if that's all that they're offering. They said add or accept. I don't think that I can tell them to add. I feel like that would be unfair to the challenge. So I'll just hit accept. I'm not mad about the gingerbread mouses, but I'm not thrilled about the oxen. They hit confirm. Okay, let's go ahead. I think that was number 13. Okay, so this will be our 14th trade. They want to offer for the mummy cat box. Now, I think a fly ride sloth is a huge overpay. So they hit accept. I mean, I think that this might be the first pet that we're getting with a fly and ride potion on it. I could be wrong, but there we go. We traded our mummy cat box. Okay, so they want to offer for one of our gingerbread mouse. Now, these are so cute. You got this, you know, from the 25th day. On Christmas, you unlocked it on the advent calendar. The winter event just left and oh no. We're gonna get a ladybug back. They hit accept, so let's hit accept. I'm having such a hard time keeping track of what number trade we're on, but I just keep going back to look at my trade license and counting the trades. And there we go. We did another one. Okay, so trade number 16. This person wants to offer for the pudding pup. I was wondering if somebody was gonna offer for this little guy. Okay, the hair box. And a starfish. Okay, at least they're not putting like nothing. A cute cobra. I don't even think I own one of those. Okay, this is what they landed on. It's quite a few things. I just hope that we don't get more than 18 items total because then I won't be able to show people in a trade window everything that we're trading. Gotta make sure to go and favorite all of these things once we get it. But this is our 16th trade. And there we go. 
ago, we just traded our Christmas pudding pop. Okay, it's been kind of hard to keep track of things, but people just keep trading me and I just kind of keep showing everything that we've gathered. The most important part of this challenge is me favoriting all the things that we get so I don't lose them because in some trades, we're just getting more than one item. You guys really need to get into the habit of just hitting accept when your offering is done. So they offered us a ton of stuff and we're just getting so many things now that I can't even fit it in a single trade square. They hit accept, we'll hit accept. I love that we're getting different kinds of items like we haven't had a pudding cat yet, nor a robot or the water moon bear. I love to see the variety. Okay, I believe this is trade number 17 and there we go. Bye, fly ride sloth. This one is surprising to me. They want to offer for the pistachio, which I never thought we'd trade. Okay, more gingerbread mouse. Now I'm not. Oh, okay, the swordfish. I'm not mad about that either. I mean, it's an ultra rare pet. They hit accept and there we go. I believe this is trade number 17. I don't know. You guys keep track. I can't keep track. They hit accept and there we go. Bye, pistachio. Okay, now this person wants to offer for the gingerbread mouse. They're taking all my favorite pets, but I understand. We're kind of getting down to some stuff that people don't really love. We have some oxen. We have some eggs. Some random, like, uncommon and rare pets. Okay, they offered an ultra rare toucan. Obviously, they're getting the win here because this pet was limited. The toucan has been in game forever and will continue to be in game. But we gotta say yes. We gotta do every single trade. They hit accept. I think I do want to go back to Discord, see if we can get some more trades in bulk. But for now, there we go. Bye to our last gingerbread mouse. I don't know how everybody knows, but they always want to trade for like my favorite stuff. Also, you guys never have to ask me permission to take a screenshot. You could just take a screenshot. I would never know. Oh, the never ending oxen. You guys know I hate the oxes. Why do you do this to me? Unfortunately, I have to say yes to everything. So bye to my precious little cutacabra and we have to take the smelly old ox. That's all right though. It's all for the cause. Even though I didn't do what Fishy did and told people I'm accepting every trade. People are still kind of, I think, getting the gist of what's happening since I've stayed in this one here server. So they're offering me the worst stuff, but there we go. We traded our urban egg. Okay, so we have officially done 21 trades. This is everything that we have so far. And we just got a pretty sick offer for our hair box. Okay, so we just joined their game. We have the hair box. I can't believe they'd give a toasty red panda. I still feel like the pets are really hard to get from the lures. I believe this is trade number 22 and i'm actually really happy about it so thank you so much okay i love the fishy army so somebody's gonna give us two of their persian cats for our two beluga whales all right so here we go we just joined them i really do want to try to like upgrade a lot of this inventory so it's not as much stuff and maybe we can end off with some better stuff i will say i'm actually having a lot of fun with this challenge i did not think from a ride potion we would have all of this stuff but there we go let's hit confirm okay so the next trade somebody wants to offer for the eggnog hair and unfortunately it's gonna be some more ox i just feel like by the end of this challenge this entire thing is gonna be oxen but i guess it's better than nothing we could end up with a bunch of sandwiches so we're gonna hit accept and there we go another trade done Okay, so while the Discord trades are working out really, really well, they're also kind of just taking too much time. I like that this person wanted to offer for all three of the hairs that we have. It definitely makes it easier when people offer for more than one thing at a time. And look, we got a gingerbread mouse back. But after this, I think I have an idea that's gonna be a little chaotic, but it's also gonna help us move this along way faster. So let's go ahead and hit confirm. Favorite the two new pets that we just got. Okay, so the new plan is to ping the special super secret videos role in the fishy army server so this is kind of how it works there's a super secret role that only 500 people can get currently 38 people have gotten it and i just sent them a link to my private server so i've just counted and we've currently done 25 trades okay so the first person wants to offer for the starfish i think that we can swing that so this will be trade number 26 okay so they said that they feel comfortable offering this and i like that because i like the nutcracker squirrels I gotta be better at keeping count of these. So there we go. Trade number 26. Here's our new inventory. I feel like it's looking really good from coming all the way from just a ride potion. Okay, so we already traded this person twice, but it looks like they want to trade us something else. They just said three random pets you pick. So I don't think I want to give anything crazy for that, but I would love to get rid of some of my extra. So basically anything that I have an extra of. I feel like this is kind of decently fair. I mean, these are all pretty low tier pets. Gotta keep track. 
Okay, trade number 27. There we go. So we got Colton here. Colton wants to offer for the mummy cat box, which these are cool if you like to collect. Ooh, the happy clam. I really like that. That's something we haven't gotten today. And an RGB box. Oh, he's spoiling us. I feel like this is a good trade. We got a dragonfly. Did we already trade our dragonfly? I feel like we might have. But I'm happy with the happy clam. I think that that's pretty cool. Trade number 28. Thank you, Colton. Oh, and our friend and moderator Billy back is here. Let's see what Billy says he wants to offer for. I think this is trade number 29. Ooh, of course he wants a toasty red panda. I feel like that's the best thing out of all the items that we got today. Let's see if Billy gives us a good offer for it. Oh no, not the rap doll. Billy. Oh, Billy, you're doing us so dirty right now. Okay, this is, this is what Billy has landed on. I'm not gonna tell people to add or remove anything. I'm so sad. I was hoping to get something a little bit better for this, but I'm happy it's going to my friend. At least he'll enjoy it. Gotta make sure to favorite all this extra stuff. And there we go. We traded the toasty red panda. Ooh, okay. So an alley cat, a black kite, and a swordfish. Everybody's asking if their trade's okay. But honestly, guys, you just gotta offer and hit accept. And if the person doesn't hit accept, then, you know, you add or something. I feel like this isn't that bad of an offer. The alley cat is pretty cute. And there we go. Another trade in the books. We are just getting an awful lot of stuff. I would love to upgrade like a ton of this. Okay, so this person wanted to offer for the wyvern. It looks like they're offering a lot of ultra rare pets. We have a couple brown chested pheasants as well as a corgi. Okay, they hit accept. I'm just gonna do a bunch of trades and add them up at the end. You guys will see on the screen, I guess, what number trade we're on, but there we go. We just traded away our wyvern. Oh my gosh, this person's crazy. They wanna offer for a chocolate lab, but they put two things that are way better than the chocolate lab. Once upon a time, these rap dolls got some insane trades. I don't think that they do anymore, and yet another ox for our unfortunate ox collection. Well, this person is letting us choose, so they have a black kite, so I guess we want to offer something else. I'll give them something better. I think the nutcracker squirrel is way better than the black kite. I don't know if anybody even likes those, but I appreciate them letting us choose, so there we go. Bye to one of our nutcracker squirrels. Oh, wow. This person has a lot of magma pets, and potato is dancing on our head. No, not surprise me. I don't have something good for those. I'm gonna tell them I definitely don't have something fair for those. I don't want to take their magma pets. I feel like some of the best stuff that I have is these things. Oh, wow. Okay, I can't believe they hit accept for this. I mean, I put what I thought was kind of the best stuff out of what we have, and this is kind of good because at least we're downgrading or upgrading. I'm not even entirely sure, but I love the magma pets. This is our first octopus and first magma moose and snail. They hit confirm. Okay, who was the winner of this trade? I genuinely don't know. They asked me to offer for their golden dragon. I chose the magma moose, and it looks like they did it, so there we go. It's like people are asking me to offer for their stuff, but I feel bad because the only pets that I can offer with is all the stuff that we've traded for. Oh, they hit except for the magma snail. I mean, I love spinosaurus. I would be very happy to get that. Okay, there we go, Slay. I think that was a fair trade. Okay, so finally somebody who says they want to offer specifically for something. Oh my gosh, their offer is crazy. They're giving us a neon pet. I feel so bad. I feel like this is a really good offer for just a gingerbread hair. Oh, they hit except. Thank you so much. That was a great trade. Okay, somebody else who knows what they want. Water moon bear. Oh my gosh, you guys are way too generous with the magma pet. Finally trading the water moon bear. We've had this for a while. The black mummy cat is also a new item. So there we go. Another trade. All right, I think that this is somebody that we've traded already. And they would like to offer for the golden dragon. They're gonna give us a panda for it. I think the panda is a Robux pet, if I'm not mistaken. I genuinely don't know. Let's go ahead and accept. Bye, golden dragon. Oh, and now our friend potato. She was dancing on my head earlier. Ooh, Potato wants the Neon Wolpertinger. I was wondering if somebody was gonna want this, and it's Luminous. Okay, two legendary pets. Oh, and she's still adding. Okay, I don't think that that's bad at all. It's a Neon Common pet. It is from the Mythic Egg, no longer in game. It does have Fly Ride, but we're getting two legendaries for it. Thank you, Potato. Okay, so I like when this happens. I like when other people on the server see something that I get, and then they ask to offer for one of the new things. Ooh, the Fleur de Ice. See, I would much rather have the fleur de ice. To me, this is a win trade because I don't like the fallow deers that much, but I know some other people do. There we go. How many trades have we done? See, so now this person just asked if they could offer for the fleur de ice that I just got. I didn't even get to enjoy it for that long. Oh my gosh. What are these? I think they're called macaws, but I know that might be wrong. I don't know how to say this properly. They said, is this okay? And I'm saying sure, but deep down inside, I'm crying. Listen, as long as we get to 100 trades today, I really don't care what we end up with. Might end up regretting saying that, but there we go. Another trade. Everybody's asking to offer for all of my favorite stuff. Now,
now they want my Spinosaurus. They did put a neon bat, though. That's the first neon bat we got today. And a little Pomeranian, our very own Luna. I guess it's not a total loss, but bye to our Spinosaurus. Oh, and then we have another friend of ours here. This is Conrad. Okay, so you can't really see their chat. It's kind of broken, but he wants to offer for the Magma Moose. Okay, I'll take two legendaries for it. I don't think that's that bad. At least it's not like a Metal Ox or something or a Lunar Gold Tiger. Those are absolutely the worst, but this, this is not bad. Okay, now we have somebody who wants to offer for the Octopus. Oh, wait, I feel like a full-grown Ride Axolotl and a Fly Ride Dodo. I kind of feel like they're over, but if they want to do this trade... Okay, so they hit accept. Okay, that trade just went through, but it ended really, really fast. So we did get the Dodo and the Axolotl, and now this person wants to offer for the Axolotl. Of course you would. I mean, it's full-grown and it has a ride on it. Ooh, the Undead Elk. I like that pet. Oh, fuck. I was wondering if we were gonna get offered any of the Aussie pets. Somebody offered the Kookaburra. I feel like this trade's not too bad. I'm sad to see the Axolotl go, but I actually like the Undead Elk, so I'm gonna take it. I really need to see how many trades we've done so far. And there we go. We got another bunch of random stuff. Okay, I think this person has offered a few times before, but now they wanna offer for our little Luna, our little Pomeranian. Oh, <gasps> the White Sand Dollar. I wish they had the Red Sand Dollar, but honestly, I'll take it. I think these things are so cute. I feel like they're so underrated. All right, confirm. There we go. Another trade down. And now somebody wants to offer for the Kookaburra. I mean, I'm kind of sad. We didn't even get to hold on to it for that long. And I don't know if this is the one that caught... It is the one that cost Robux. Oh, okay. But at least they're giving a fair trade for it. Three legendary pets and another undead elk. Okay, wait. I actually really like this offer for the Kookaburra because the Griffin's no longer in game. And that used to be like, what? Like 600 Robux or 300? I can't remember. I feel like this is a good trade for it. This is the newest Robux pet. And this is like some kind of older stuff. Stuff. I actually think that this might have been a little bit of an upgrade for us. And it looks like somebody just made this alt account. What is this? Brit Day is so slay. I feel like how could I have not thought of that username that is so iconic? Oh my gosh, the puffer fish. It's so derpy. I don't think this is the best offer we could get for the fly ride dodo, but honestly, I really just want to see what number trade we're at because I don't know. All right, let's say confirm. Bye to our fly ride dodo. Was the alpaca part of like those three random farm pets? I genuinely can't remember member, but it looks like they're gonna do a bunch of small ads. I really do kind of wish we were upgrading our inventory and trading like a bunch of stuff for higher tier stuff. Oh, <gasps> the geckos! I love the geckos! Honestly, my two favorite things in this trade are the gecko and the alpaca. I just think that they're adorable. I would have liked to keep more legendary stuff in our inventory, but either way, I'm not mad about it. Let's hit confirm! Guys, we are halfway done with our trades. I literally just counted, and we have done 50 trades. And in 50 trades, we have gone from a ride potion to all of this. I can't even believe it. That's kind of insane. Well, this person just put a golden egg in the trade and they said for anything, but I have this fallow deer. I don't know if they'll take it. Looks like they will. Wow, our 51st trade is a golden egg. I feel like that's a really good trade. Oh, we have our friend Grog here. So our friend Grog offered us a chimera for our T-Rex. Legendary for a legendary. I don't think that that's too shabby at all. Okay, so Miss Britte is so slay herself wants to give us a hawk and a mega dog for the neon bat. I mean, even if it's just a mega dog, it's still a mega pet. Our first mega pet today. And there we go. We hit confirm. Thank you so much. Oh my gosh. Wow. Just for the alpaca, this person's offering. What is going on? As much as I would love to get all of those things, it's just way too much. She's giving us full grown pets as well. Was the alpaca Robux? Am I missing something? This person's trying to overpay like crazy. I keep making them make their offers smaller. I really don't know if this alpaca was Robux and maybe that's why they were offering so much. I just can't remember. We have like a whole um dragon situation going on over here. Okay, it looks like this is the best that I could get them down to. Two legendaries and a neon tanuki. I mean, it's a lot better than everything else they had put earlier. There we go. Bye-bye, little alpaca. Oh my gosh, I literally love the rock pigeons. We haven't gotten one today. Even the cockroaches are cute. Like, they made him derpy enough that he's cute. Oh, someone's offering us a stroller. That's our first stroller today. I'm surprised more people didn't offer me strollers, especially knowing how much I love them. This trade I actually really like. It has a lot of cute pets in it. Lots of preppy ones. There we go. At 55 trades in, this is where we are at so far. Yeah, I know. It's just way too much stuff. Way too many items. We gotta simplify this inventory real quick. I don't even know if this method is gonna work, but we gotta try. I don't really have an exact game plan, and I don't even know if this is gonna work out. We might end up downgrading by accident.
it. I don't know if this trade is good or not. I mean, the king penguins, it costs Robux to throw the golden goldfish. I don't know what some of this stuff is from. I guess I'd rather have Robux pets. And honestly, I'd rather just have less pets. We need to have less pets. So I'm gonna hit confirm. And there we go. Okay, honestly, I would absolutely do this, turning all of this regular stuff into a singular legendary. I believe this will be trade number 57. I don't even wanna take any guesses anymore. Let's see if this actually goes through. This would be a huge win. Oh my gosh, thank you so much. I mean, I see this person with the golden chow chow. Why not do my best to attempt to offer for it? Don't know if this would be considered an upgrade. Um, I kind of think it is because the golden chow chows are hard to get. Oh, they hit accept. Okay, we're, we're doing a really great job. I hope that this person hits accept for the golden chow chow. I would much rather upgrade all of this to just one better thing. We have way too many items. Yes, we did it. Oh my gosh, has the black chow chow finally returned to us. I don't know if this trade is really gonna go through. I mean, I was happy to just do it for the black chow chow, but they added a frog. I just wanna get rid of some of this inventory bulk. I don't want it anymore. I want less things. Okay, they hit accept. Yay, we got a black chow chow again. Okay, so for our 60th trade, my best friend just joined and he said he would help upgrade some of the inventory. He said, hi, we're gonna say hi, fishy. So I genuinely don't even think I could add everything that we have, but I heard you were doing a challenge and I want to offer for stuff. That's a lot of stuff. Oh, he has no idea how much stuff I have. I actually have way too much. I'm gonna say there's still more. Oh, yay! He says, I got something for you for all of this. I don't know what he could possibly offer for all of this, but I really just want to shrink down the amount of stuff we have right now. Oh, no way. A neon black chow chow. I love this pet. I'll hit except for that. I think that that's more than fair for all of this stuff. I don't even think there's a single legendary item in here. Fishy's doing us a big favor. I think I need to switch gears on my method for trading because I want to get this done. Thank you so much, Fishy, for our 60th trade. He says you have too many items. You should do what I did. I'm gonna ask what did you do? I, um, I actually didn't watch the video. I just saw the title and thought it was a fun idea. He says he put everything he was last traded into the next window and let other people offer. I didn't keep anything from the last trades. Oh, guys, I've been trying to get upgrades this whole video. I feel like we did so good with getting upgrades. I don't know if I could put all of this stuff into one window, but I'll see what I can do. All right, besties, this is what the inventory is looking like. I feel like we have gotten such good upgrades lately that I'm scared to downgrade. Okay, guys, we need to get rid of some of this bulk, and even though some of this stuff is stuff I don't want to trade, we just got to get rid of it. This person offered us a mega stingray, I guess, for all of this stuff. We already have a mega common in here, and the stingray is a mega common, but this was limited from the ocean egg, so maybe it's an upgrade. Oh no, they're just doing a bunch of rand. I wish that they would just hit accept. I just want to do the upgrade. They said, is this okay? So I feel like that means that they want to do it. I don't know if this is a win or a lose. Honestly, this is just not my style of trading, but this is a challenge, so I'm just gonna hit accept, and I definitely feel like this person is maybe getting a little bit of a win. Maybe not. You guys are gonna have to comment down below. Is this a win? Is this a lose? Mega fly ride stingray for all of this. I'll hit confirm. Oh, there we go. We got it. And now look, our items are so much less. We only have eight things. Okay, so I'm very nervous about this. I don't want to put in all this items, like all this hard work that we just got for nothing. But this is what Fishy told me to do. He said to put in everything I have. And no matter what somebody puts, I have to accept it. So I could really get scammed right now. They want to offer for my griffin. Um, oh, is it just a normal griffin? I have no idea. I think so. I mean, listen, we're trying to upgrade. I don't feel like this is much of an upgrade because this is out of game now and that's not but a trade is a trade so i believe this is trade number 62 all right let's hit confirm there we go we just traded our griffin i don't know if somebody will even have an offer for all of these things jumbled together i know that i wouldn't okay they said this for a chow chow and this is this is not what we're trying to do i don't know what to do we need to get rid of the stuff that we have and try to get other stuff for it whether it's an upgrade or not all right they hit confirm let's do this trade but this is not going according according to plan. Okay, so this person wants us to offer for their fly ride ninja monkey. Now, I think that everything we have here is worth way more than a ninja monkey. Oh my gosh, I just saw them glitch except this is not good. Oh no, you guys, here it goes. All of our hard work in progress from our ride potion to a mega to a neon.
on all to be gone to just a fly ride ninja monkey. Oh, they hit confirm. Okay, goodbye to all of my stuff. And just like that, you guys, everything from our challenge has just turned into a single ninja monkey. I guess we're gonna do it the way that Fishy did it now. We're just gonna offer everything that we get for just something else. I'm kind of sad, but I need to not get too attached to the pets and the things that we get. It's just a challenge. It's all in good fun. Yep, so they hit accept. Dang, I feel like we were really on top and we have falled. We have falled? We have fallen. Oh, they hit confirm. Okay, goodbye, ninja monkey. Oh, this is actually insane if we just go from all the legendaries and everything that we had to just this. Oh, I'm gonna cry. This is all Fishy's fault. He's the worst trader ever. Why would I take his advice? I'm like actually gonna cry because I already hate all of these things and then now it's gonna get even worse. Oh, and they hit accept. Guys, I am so sorry. I feel like this was like an upgrade challenge and then it just turned into a bunch of nonsense, but I don't think there's anything else I could do. I feel like I've committed to just trading these random items and accepting whatever somebody gives me. Oh my gosh, this is the worst trade of the day. Oh, I feel bad. This person wanted the Yule Log Dog, but we just traded it, and they offered an Ultra Rare King Penguin for all of this, like, uncommon stuff, so I actually really appreciate that, because it's definitely an upgrade. Even though nobody likes the King Penguins, I can't deny that it's a Robux pet for a bunch of stuff nobody wants, so thank you so much, Evil Queen. I don't know how we went from having, like, the sickest inventory ever to just having this king penguin and this person said i'll take the penguin and they're giving us a ride snow owl so that's really cool of them hey at least we made it back to a legendary you guys it could be way worse let's hit confirm thank you so much so now we have this ride snow owl to trade i'm kind of a little bit sad i don't know why i just feel like i was so impressed with how far we had come oh oh this can't be real i feel like this person's trolling that is way too much of an overpay for a snow owl oh they hit confirm thank you so much robux gal mia wait stop these are actually good things okay so next up we have this diamond dragon and this golden ladybug and okay they're offering a chocolate chow chow and a golden dragon i feel like this is kind of fair if they hit accept then we're gonna hit accept i don't even know what number trade this is anymore i've completely lost count they did hit accept okay so let's do it i kind of like the diamond dragon a little bit more but the chow chows are cute i do kind of wish it was the black one because that one's my favorite favorite but there we go another trade crossed off the list i think we've traded the strawberry mochi person before okay so they offered us a golden griffin a king penguin and a red fox for the golden dragon and the chow chow i feel like this is a little bit of a downgrade from what we just had but that's okay yep they hit confirm so let's hit confirm and we traded another couple pets this is super random and i didn't think i was gonna do this for the video but they just asked me to do a flex battle and i haven't been asked to do a flex battle in all oh, what in a really long time so you know what why not how do you guys think i did i haven't flex battled in a really long time okay so this person offered a golden uni for our golden griffin and other stuff and there's even a kitsune in here which if you guys didn't know adami finally removed that from the game let's see if they oh they did hit accept i like the golden unicorn way more okay we're moving up okay so we have the kitsune we have the golden unicorn and this person is offering an ice moth dragon we've gotten ice moth dragons a few times during this challenge they also have a shetland pony they added a gorilla as well i'm super bummed i never got a chance to play that event and they hit accept okay so far this hasn't been too bad of a challenge and they had confirmed so let's do it another trade for the books okay i thought before the worst thing that could possibly happen happened but this is actually the worst thing that could possibly happen what am i gonna do with seven gifts nobody's gonna offer for this i think this is trade number 74 and we're getting really close to trade 100 i don't I want to end it terribly oh no okay i don't know if this is really happening but somebody's actually offering a pet for the seven gifts i think we traded this person before i do have my joins on as well as being in my private server so it might be like people joining me and they hit accept i appreciate that i didn't think we were gonna get a pet from all this but honestly even a halloween white skeleton dog is good enough for me it's better than all of this if they hit confirm then we will too oh my gosh thank you so much yeah i definitely I am starting to recognize the same names, but it's just funny because I left that server where I traded these people, but again, my joins are on. Oh, and they hit accept. Okay, a ladybug. That's not terrible. This does cost Robux, but they have lost a ton of value. Can't be worth
horse and a skelly dog, right? Let's take confirm. Thank you so much for the ladybug. So we have done 76 trades. This will be trade number 77. And oh my goodness, look, a gingerbread mouse. Oh, they hit accept. You know, this may be a huge downgrade, but I'm actually happy to get a gingerbread mouse again. We've traded all of ours away and they had confirmed. Okay, thank you for trade number 77. Okay, so now we have our beloved gingerbread mouse and it looks like we're just getting offered a toucan. Guys, I really can't. If you've stayed here for the whole video and you know what our inventory looked before, how did we get to this? They hit accept for the toucan. You guys know the rules. If they hit accept, I gotta do it. I don't know how we're gonna trade a regular toucan, but they hit confirm. So thank you so much for the trade, I think. Okay, and it looks like we were able to trade this toucan. If this trade goes through a chocolate chow chow and a Halloween golden mummy cat, I feel like maybe these will be a little bit easier to trade. Thank you so much. Bye bye toucan. Oh my gosh, it looks like somebody finally offered a Maneki Neko and a Spinosaurus. I actually love the Spinosaurus. Oh, they hit accept. Thank you so much. I actually love this trade cupcake. Okay, wow. I did not think we would get something like a King B for this stuff. Oh, that's not bad at all. Okay, I like this trade. Thank you, Steven. The irony of this right now, this person will never understand. <laughs> How did we end up back here? No. Oh my God. Imagine this was trade number 100. Okay, we got it confirmed for the ride potion. Oh, okay. We haven't gotten a nightmare owl today. A ginger cat. Okay, so some of this stuff we definitely have seen today. I wonder if this is their entire offer. And it is. They did hit accept. I mean, I'm not mad about the nightmare owl. I probably would have accepted just for that. I don't know why. I don't think it's worth a ride potion, but it just looks super creepy and cool. And they hit accept. They hit confirm. Okay, bye ride potion again. It amazes me every time when I think that the trades cannot get worse and then they do. This this is an abomination. I do not want this pet. Nobody wants this pet. It's crazy how they're the ones hesitating in the second trade window when they're the one with the terrible pet. Oh, and they hit confirm, unfortunately. Okay, I think that was our 84th trade and I hate it. Okay, I feel like a ride Kitsune would be a huge upgrade from the Zodiac minion chick. I don't know if this person's gonna do it, but if they do, they're absolutely a real one. Oh, they hit accept. Thank you so much. This helps a lot. What did I tell you guys about it getting worse? It's only almost a neon cat. Okay, so we got almost a neon cat, an urban egg, a neon mouse that's sunshine. I mean, I guess the Zodiac minion chick was worse than this in my opinion. At least I don't hate any of this stuff. Are we at trade 100 yet? I'm getting tired. Yep, they hit confirm. Oh my goodness. Bye, Kitsune. I have no idea how we're gonna trade all this stuff, but it... Okay, a Christmas future egg and a birthday butterfly. I mean, at least it's less stuff to keep track of. They hit accept. You guys know the drill. I even got a warning if I'm getting scammed. Let me know if you guys would try this challenge. If you've made it this far, would you try this challenge? Would you do it my way or Fishy's way? Oh, it's been a while since we've gotten one of the magma pets. I don't know if this stuff is worth a magma snail. This person could be trolling us. Oh, they're not. We actually got one. Thank you. Well, this is unfortunate. I'm honestly just trying to speed my way through this. I want to know when we're at trade 100. I really have no idea how this is going to turn out. We could end up with a sandwich. Okay, here's to another trade. Okay, so I just realized that we just did our 89 trade. We have these random things to trade up from and only 11 more trades in order to do it. Okay, so this is the next offer we got and if anything, I don't think it's an upgrade. I think it's a downgrade. I'm honestly not sure. Maybe it's about the same. All of this stuff seems kind of useless. I just, I wanted to end with something cool, but I believe this is trade number 90. Okay, let's hit confirm. Just 10 more trades. It's so weird. I feel like we keep kind of ending up with the same stuff. This is trade 91 and I mean, if this trade goes through, this person is really nice because they're giving us legendary stuff for this garbage for lack of a better word. Oh, and they hit accept. I appreciate you. Thank you. Okay, so at least we have two legendary things to trade with now. I feel like maybe, just maybe, we could end this well, or maybe not. Listen, I love the bats as much as the next person, but I don't think that this is better than this. I mean, at least it's full grown with a ride on it, right? It could be worse. Okay, thank you for the albino bat. Oh my gosh, this person is giving us a neon quokka. I don't even know what that looks like. Oh, they're just adding way too much. I want to get cool stuff for you guys, but I also don't want people to like crazily overpay. I mean, it's just an albino bat. They're super cute, but then look at this little guy. Oh my gosh, they put the shark puppy. Wasn't that Robux? I feel like this is a huge overpay, but this will actually really help us as long as we get a good trade for that. So thank you so much, baby Sonic. Is it weird that 
even though I think this trade is a lose, I'm not mad about it because the ghost bunnies are super cute. Okay, they added a couple more things. I need to check what trade we're on. I really need to figure out when we're on trade 100. I do like the ride ghost bunny. This shark puppy was cute for a time, but thank you so much. I love the ghost bunny. Okay, guys, this is trade number 95. We are getting so close. Oh, one of these is full grown. We are getting so close. We're ending on three lunar moon bears if this trade goes through. I did like the ghost bunny, but that's all right. Okay, trade 95. We got three lunar moon bears. This is our trade number 96, a dragon and a hot dog. I don't know why, but for some reason, this just reminds me of when I first started playing Adopt Me. If this is our 96 trade, oh, I'm not even mad about it. Thank you so much. I never thought somebody would ask to offer for the hot dog. I mean, you could just get this at any player's hot dog stand and they want to offer a sandwich. I feel like this was a sneaky way to do a trade history trade without having to offer for the red dragon. Super duper sneaky, but this is going to be our 97th trade and it does actually technically count. So thank you for the sandwich. Okay, we have an offer for the dragon, guys. This is so exciting. Trade number 98. Only two more trades to go. I never thought that we would make it here. I want to know what we're going to end up with. Right now, we're getting an axolotl and a lunar gold tiger. Can we move up from here? Wow, this is kind of crazy. Is this person really going to fill the trade square for just a lunar gold tiger and an axolotl? I guess they are. This is actually kind of crazy. Is this what we're going to end up with on? I think this is our 99th trade, you guys. I think that this is. So we have to get something good for all of this stuff. They hit confirm. Okay, there we go. Trade 99. Okay, guys, this is everything that we ended off with from trade number 99. And I thought for our 100th trade, we should trade somebody special. Yes, you may have guessed it. Mr. Fishy blocks himself. He says, so I heard you had some stuff. Yes, indeed. And Fishy says that he wants it. I don't know if he's actually going to want all of this stuff that we have. But I hope that he gives us something good because as you guys know, I did want to give away whatever we ended up with. Is he kidding? That's what you want to give to my fans, Fishy? He said joking, but I don't find that very funny. Whatever he gives us, that's what's going to be the giveaway for the video. So I really wanted it to be something good. Oh, two neon legendaries. Okay, guys. I mean, that's not too bad. Three neon legendaries. Oh, Fishy, that's so sweet of you. Make sure you guys comment down below. Thank you to Fishy. This is actually really awesome. Leave a like on the video. So true. Thank you guys for watching. We did it.